means? Well, if you don't know, let me tell you what the dictionary says it means. Legacy, property and money left to someone by a will, something handed down from those who've gone before. Now, in this poem, I'm not referring to material things like property or money. I'm referring to what you are doing, what each and every one of you in this room are doing with this life that God has given to you. What will your legacy be? What will your legacy be when you have finally cast off these moral coils? When you have crossed the great divide? When you can no longer run life's race? When you no longer have a place? When you have at last completed the circle round and when an escape would no longer be found? What will your legacy be? When you walk into the unknown all by yourself and alone with no friend to lead you or to hold your hand, what will your legacy be? When you must cross that great divide into an area from which none can hide, when you, you alone, with no one by your side, with no friend to lead you or to hold your hand, what will your legacy be? What deeds will you have done in your lifetime which will be left for you to be remembered by? Would it be just a great decaying tombstone standing alone in a cemetery? Or will it be as it should be some act, some service, some deed that will know, that will ensure that you will be remembered on and into the eternity of life's day? So I ask you again, what will your legacy be? Will it be the fact that you helped somebody along the way during the time while you were here on earth? Will it be that you helped to improve the condition of life for those in your time and those coming after and those who are still here? Will it be similar to the legacies left to our generation by people like Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, Frederick Douglass, John Brown, Ida B. Wells, Barry Bethune, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and so many others who made of their lives a bridge for us to cross over on, and whose lives were an inspiration for us of today to make our lives bridges for future generations to cross over on. So I ask you, what will your legacy be? Closer to home, will it be like the legacy left to us by Paul Robeson, or Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., or Dr. W.E.B. Du Bois, or Many, many others. Well, these are just a few, as you well know, because there are many, many others who, like these, left through their contributions in their lifetime, <coughs> legacies as bridges for us to cross over on. So I ask you, what will you leave as your legacy as a bridge for those now and those coming on to cross over on? So what will your legacy be? I ask you, what will your legacy be? Do you know? Have you thought about it? Do you have an answer? Well, if at this point you cannot say, well, listen to me, because this is the moment. This is the prime moment for you to begin to think and to get to work and to identify what you will leave as your legacy so that you will be remembered. You are here, you are still here, alive and quick, and you have time. You have time on your side. You have time to begin even now to get busy and to do something to help somebody, to improve the condition of life for people now and for those who come after you, to build institutions, to help build this museum, the first museum for this city. Uh, you, you can help to do that by becoming members of the museum and sending the contributions to Candy to build institutions to educate and broaden the minds of people now and for those who come after you and to make of your life a contribution that will be your legacy so that your name will be remembered from now on and into eternity. What will your legacy be? Hopefully, it will not just be a gray decaying tombstone standing alone in the cemetery. So think now and act now to ensure that your legacy will be a positive contribution to humanity. And you will be remembered, you will be remembered on and on and into eternity as life as God wills it. What will